Now these are the bags we're using, which we can't use to fuse for the crisp packers because they're too thick. So you get them normally in like soft furnishings, over sofas, electrical box packaging. We get them from pets at home, which is great. So they're a lot thicker. You can get a body in there, so it does depend on the size of your bag. Folding our bag in half, this is going to be our neckline here. So we need to measure 14 centimetres in from the neckline. Make your slit. Then we're just going to cut. Yeah. Now, for the front part of the neckline, so only half of the plastic, we need to cut a 14 centimetre split. And that's going to be our front neckline. For the armholes, I'm just keeping the square of the plastic bag. 30 centimetres, so 12 inches. Again, mark yourself a little nick. And then literally just cut down the fold. And then that is your basic shape for your poncho. So you trim off the bottom of your plastic bag, put splits up the side here, So depending on whether you want to sew it or you want to fuse it, we start fusing the hood of our poncho. So I've got, I've turned it inside out, which you would do when you were sewing. Right, now we've done the back, all of the back neckline fusing. Now we're coming back round to the front again to turn this inside out. We're literally just going to go across the front like that. And there you go so that's all fused seam at your back and just again we're going to go round about a centimeter the hood and it's literally a centimeter seam line and then we're going to turn it inside out once we've finished the hood we've cut out on the fold there we're going to, going to turn it round start at the fold at the back Straight stitch all the way round. More shape to put little cuts down to the seam all the way there, and then it sits better on the headline. It's the hood to the poncho. So, this bag here is actually quite strong, and the seams are quite durable. If you want to reinforce it, you can just put a straight stitch across each of the shoulders my hood inside out so the seams on the inside and a centimeter wide seam and literally now it's just going to be matching it up slippery just take your time doing it five minutes you cut yourself out and made yourself a poncho or for someone less fortunate than you